name is Natalie Bungay and I'm from the British Pest Control Association. Today we're going to talk about store product insects. These insects are a mixture of moths and beetles and the most common place we might find these within your home or business is going to be in the cupboards where you keep your cereals or flour for example. So today I think it would be very helpful if we talk a bit about store product insects, what you can do to spot them and then deal with any problem you do find. Store product insect, also known as an SPI for sure, is a group of insects that infests our stored products that we keep in our cupboards at home or businesses, such as cereals and maybe some flour. This group of insects is made up of predominantly beetles and moths. Some of the common ones that you may have experienced is an Indian mill moth. We might find these in our cereal boxes. When we open our cupboard, we might see a few moths in there, and that means that product is possibly infested. Another example is a sophid, a more common name is a book lice. They were associated and can be associated with stored books and the glues that hold them together. But in our stored products, we can find them feeding on the very minute moulds that produce in small grains or flowers. And quite an unusual place that you might not think of looking for these insects might be within if you store some pet food because a lot of these beetles, a biscuit beetle for example, is quite common to infest things like dried dog food or cat food. The most common way that you may experience a stored product insect infestation is from purchasing a product from a shop that already has an infestation within it. And then when you take it home or take it into your business and open that product, it then infests that environment. product insects it's quite common that you're going to mostly see the adult insect so the beetle or the moth but it's really important to remember that it's actually the larvae that do most of the damage so when they've laid that egg and that larvae has hatched out in whichever product it is that's infested it's actually that larvae that's doing the damage so even though yes we need to get rid of the adult moth or beetle really important we address those products where those larvae are actually living if we find a stored product insect infestation within our homes, it's really important that we control it for a couple of reasons. Mainly, you obviously don't want to be consuming these insects, but also if you leave them to thrive, they are bound to infest other products. Or if you're a business suffering with a stored product insect infestation, this can cause you a number of problems, but most notably is that your reputation and financial implications of having products that are infested with insect particles and larvae, your customers will certainly not want to have that within the products they're purchasing. But also legislation, so environmental health reasons and public health reasons, we can't have these insects present in the food that you might be producing or manufacturing. The most important thing for a store product insect to be able to survive and thrive is that they've got a good food source. So as long as this food source is within the environment and readily available to them, they will not only survive but they will certainly thrive as well. So as long as this food source remains, it's very unlikely that they will go away on their own. The best way to deal with a stored product insect infestation is prevention. However, it is very difficult to fully prevent an infestation. And the reason is, is that when we go to the shops and we buy our food products, it's not always possible to check it to see whether there are any insects present. So what I recommend is that when you get home, you open those products, just give it a check through quickly, just to see if there's any larvae or beetles within that product. If you don't find anything, then it's best to store it in a plastic sealed container. And if you do find insects within the product that you've just bought, the best thing to do is take it back to the store, let the manager know so that they can address it, and also they'll replace the product for you. If you are a food processing business and you're worried about stored product insects, there are a few things that you can do to help prevent them. One of them is inspecting, so inspecting those raw products that are coming into your building or factory. And then once those products are in, monitoring through every stage of production right until that product goes out of your food processing business. 
If you know which product a stored product insect is infesting, then it can be quite easy to actually get rid of the infestation. However, if you're just seeing the adults, the moths or the beetles in the environment, but you're not quite sure which product they're originated from, then that's when it can become quite tricky to deal with the infestation. If you find stored product insects within a cupboard and you feel that the infestation is quite localised to one product, for example a cereal box, then it's quite easy, you throw that cereal box away, you can give your cupboard a wipe out and if you're confident that there's no eggs or larvae that are residing within that area, then just disposing of the product can actually deal with your problem very effectively. However, if this product has been within your cupboard for some time and you haven't noticed that there's an infestation there, there is a possibility those insects would have moved out a little bit, infested some other products, and then you've got a bit of a larger problem on your hands. So really important, if you do find any store product insects, you inspect all of your products within your cupboards. If you can't find the source of the infestation or throwing away products hasn't helped you, then it's maybe time to get in touch with a professional pest management company. When a pest professional arrives, the first thing they'll do is investigate the root cause of the infestation. Once this is established, they'll address it. They may also use a professional insecticide to deal with any residual insects that might have been left in the environment. And they will give you some pest prevention advice going forward. To find a professional pest management company to deal with stored product insects, you can visit the BPCA website and use our Find a Pest Controller tool. All you need to do is enter your postcode and then you'll have a list of pest controllers in your local area. And remember, these pest control technicians, they're qualified, trusted and audited by BPCA. For more information about stored product insects, please visit bpca.org.uk forward slash SPIs. If you need a pest management company, then find a local member at bpca.org.uk forward slash find. Alternatively, you can call our 24-7 helpline on 01332 294 288.